Namaste beautiful yogis. Today we are doing a gua sha, face gua sha for skin rejuvenation, beautifying, lymphatic drainage, puffiness, um, puffy backs, um, tightening the skin, youthifying the skin. So before we begin, I want to cover the technique or the rules of gua sha. Gua sha is uh, usually a stone that you, uh, that's uh, used for scraping the skin so that uh, blood, uh, blood circulation comes to the surface and that speeds up healing. Usually when it's done on the body, it looks pretty scary to Western <laughs> people because it uh, causes bruising. For the face, it doesn't cause any bruising. Mild redness is okay, just kind of like a sun kissed for five minutes after gua sha that's fine means circulation has improved and that can improve collagen production it also tightens the skin because it removes lymph and toxicity from the face and now we are always going to apply light pressure and 15 degree angle about 15 degree angle so that it is not straight away from the face and causing uh, heavier bruising and if you feel pain obviously back off you're applying too much pressure if you uh, if there is a lot of redness you have applied too much pressure uh, if there is achiness in certain areas around here that's usually your lymph nodes and you can go a little longer in those areas up until the lymph node drains um, one of the important things is to always move from the center of the face out towards the lymph nodes on the neck we're gonna move down because we're draining all the lymphatic fluid that uh, accumulates in the face and in the main drainage point here from the face from the neck down into the main now into the main drain. So now we're going to begin with tapping right above the collarbone so that we're opening the main drainage point of the lymph. Do not tug and pull on the skin, prepare oil. I'm gonna be using Libero, I already have oil on my face. Uh, and I only have my serum elixir, uh, elixir serum on my face and some oil, but. I will apply liberal amount of oil even more here about 50 times tapping very light pressure so that we're opening the main lymphatic drainage uh, that comes from the head lymph you have lymph all around here in the back of the head neck or behind the ear we are literally covered in lymph nodes, so we want to keep them moving. The best foods for the lymph are fruits, and also fruits will clean up the intestines and get everything moving, heal the kidneys. Backed up kidneys will cause backup in the lymphs and vice versa. All right, from here, you're going to grab your gua sha. Today, um, today I'm using a uh, different gua sha stone. This was my old one, the jade one, and this is a micro crystalline ceramic. This one, um, I, I, I asked the owners of the company uh, what's the benefits, and they explained that sometimes jade is fake because it's a natural stone. Mine seems to be real, but um, because it's a natural stone, obviously the shape cannot be completely perfect, and also it's too thin for saving material so that is a little less uh, ideal for uh, what we need on the face how we apply pressure and how we move things so the ceramic one is heavier it has a better feel it's shaped much better and i i prefer it i prefer to use it on my face um over this one um this one comes with a little booklet of a face of a five minute gua sha which we'll do but i'll add a few other things to it and oh it also comes with a ebook of chinese medicine points and how to read the face because the face is a microcosmos of the body we can read the body the functioning of the organs our health through the face through the iris through the skin through the palm of the hand through the Food. basically everything is an expression in a macrocosmic way uh, of the bigger picture of the macro so um, when that's why oftentimes we obsess with our beauty because our beauty is a reflection of our health of the inspiration of the soul and the beauty of the spirit or the beauty of the soul and the beauty inspiration of the spirit 
all right from here applying liberal amount of oil I already have oil on my face because I started it earlier and and I'm using a uh, geranium oil it's in the rose family it's very good for pain beauty beautifying the skin stimulating the skin to uh, heal it also smells amazing anything in the rose family is for beauty all right make sure that you keep oil at all times good amount of oil if you use lotion if you use lotion it tends to absorb faster so that you have to reapply all right um we'll start after tapping here we'll start with light pressure down the neck i can even use both just feel free to just use one uh, i must say you can use um, a stainless steel spoon you can use a wooden spoon and back in the day before i ordered my first one i was using those ones um, crystal ones uh, i don't prefer those because they're just very sharp and very um, straight you want something more curvy that's why a spoon um, can do well if you don't have a gouache stone light pressure because the lymph nodes are right underneath the surface of the skin so if you press too hard you're gonna miss them you want to affect the lymph nodes here light pressure light pressure from here we're gonna start with the flat part center of the center of the forehead and out now if you have two stones feel free to use them both light pressure that causes mild redness at the most if you don't get any redness that's fine right make sure that you keep oil at all times if you use lotion it tends to absorb faster so that you have to reapply all right from here this bigger side pressing in the center of the eye and out note again here that's for the puffiness of the backs this area is kidney liver so we're affecting the organs and also allowing the skin here to heal you can press in the center out and pause here on the outer and now above Opposite side. We can press. Press in the center, hold, out, out, above. Can drain all the fluid that accumulates and around the eyes, even the sinus cavities. Speaking of the sinus cavities, pressing the center and circle here. Now the forehead lines they can indicate overactivity of the brain, exhaustion of the brain. Press here in the center, right underneath the the hairline. Moving on, same flat side, center of the nose out. That's for lifting the skin. Lifting, sagging 
wrinkles these wrinkles here that are lifted with this movement and also this is depuffing the face if there is too much puffiness in the face these wrinkles here indicate um, a lot of toxicity in the intestines when you see them very deep like these deep grooves in some people usually it means a lot of accumulated um, toxic matter and waste in the intestines fasting plant diet tons and tons of water can improve that opposite side a lot of water and a lot of fiber a lot of plants and most and mainly focusing on fruit of course veggies always veggies kale um, those darker colored veggies spinach end of the nose and under the cheekbone and now this is all moving towards this drainage point Now sometimes I like to do it with the flat part, part here because it fits my face really well. Opposite side. Right, from here we can take this flat part and lift here from the outer corner of the eye to the hairline let's press here and circle in the to, by the outer edge of the nose opposite lips um, those grooves here indicate problems with the reproductive system if you see them if you start getting them again clean up the diet get out the eggs milk from the diet so that the reproductive system can start healing and of course manually working on it can affect them because it's an acute point and taking care of the reproductive system itself with herbs and diet water exercise Let's tap these two places, the lymph nodes. If you feel them, you can tap a little longer so that they um, drain a little more efficiently. All right, let's lift the sagging skin. <laughs> let's lift it. Uh, from here, we, we can use, um, again, the flat part from the center of the chin towards that lymph point. This is lifting the sagging skin. Obviously you can't expect miracles of this. This is very relaxing and it's beautifying in a very natural way. Uh, it's just part of your self care and paying attention to your face, organ, skin. Alright, with the groovy part. <laughs> I call it groovy part, I don't know why. Lifting that chin up, lift. Now with the flat part, we can work a little more on lifting sagging skin and here in a spiraling motion working towards towards the lymph again if you have areas of your face that require particular attention stay a little longer there obviously I'm a little weird with my left <laughs> with my left hand I have to do it with my right all right Sweeping motion here, sweeping, sweeping, light sweeping motion. Mm -hmm. 
Let's press above the lip and circle under the lip, circle. One more time in the 11th because it's a common concern area for many people. From here under the eye, center of the eye, press. That's for the kidneys and liver and under. For the puffiness, opposite side. And if you have particular areas of concern, you can request a video and I'll do a different video. Let's actually finish a little bit with the very light uh, over the nose here and then we're just warming up so that we can stimulate uh, sinus drainage. So from here, from the nose down, very light here. And opposite side. So that can also dip up the face oftentimes and it can even help with allergies. Um, and I think we are done. This is a very quick routine for just beauty basically uh, and the puffing, moving lymph and so forth. Um, request if you have other routines in mind and I'll see you soon. I don't know if my face looks any different than before we started. You can go back to the beginning of the video and now. I don't know if it's different. Uh, sometimes also you can be a little more smiley because you're lifting the corners of the lips here, but that's about it. If you have particular ones that you want me to do for particular uh, issues, let me know. Of course, when we're addressing face issues, say puffy eyes, obviously we can work on the face and the face, the acupoints work on the organs because the body is, there is so many maps. You can read the body from the palms of the hands. Uh, from the nails, from you can iridology eat the body, uh, read the body, and from the face you can read the body. But the same way, when you are affecting the points on the face, they're affecting the organs. And the other way, when you see the points on the face, you do need to address the organs. Say so if you have really deep, dark circles, you have to address your liver health, your kidney health. If your skin is very grayish, again, you have to address, uh, address your health, liver health. If your skin is very red, but not like a nice, beautiful red, like a healthy red, then it's heart issues. If it's purplish red or dark red, like old blood. Um, so you can use the face to read the state of your health. I think that's why a lot of us have obsession with beauty because um, on an intuitive level, when we're, uh, especially for people that are not spiritual, they kind of understand on some level that there is something in the face that is reflective of the soul and of the health. Like for example, I've had, when I had uh, health problems, I had to deal with um, puffy, eye bags and it really bothered me because I, it wasn't for the vanity issues it because I knew it was reflective of the health of my uh, organs, kidneys and liver. Um, so um, that's about it. Let me know if you have particular um, uh, requests for a particular thing like acne routine or something that is within the gua sha. It can address different issues, different um, wrinkle issues and different health issues and different skin issues uh, and I'll do that next.